shiitake mushrooms. Don't post that on YouTube! God, control your kid! Dude, get out of my face! Dude, uh. you just need to deal with it, okay? Uh. So, I'm having to jump start my piece of crap out back again. The stupid battery keeps dying. Like every other morning, I'm having to do this. So I got, you know, the Pacifica that works perfectly fine. I'm the jump start my Subaru that only has 2,000 miles on it. I've had it for two years now. I'm the jump start the stupid battery that keeps draining. Uh, because every other morning as I'm getting up, I'm try I tried, I wasn't able to do it today, you know. I wanted to take the kids down to the bus stop, you know, every morning I try to take the girls down to the bus stop, just down the street. And every other day I'm having to jump stop this stupid thing. It's starting to really irritate me. Like, what is the deal, Subaru? It's a brand new, I mean, it's only two years old, only has 20,000 miles on it. Everything's still practically brand new. I mean, look, look how clean the engine is. Everything's practically new. It's a 2020. I haven't driven it that much. Why am I having to jump start this? You know, I've had piece of crap $500 cars when I was 16 that I haven't had to jump start as much as I had to with this stupid Subaru. Like, what is the deal here? Why is my battery always dying? What is draining my battery? And why is it not notifying me that something apparently is left on inside the vehicle? Like, what the hell, Subaru? This is pissing me off. All right, so this is why I'm starting to hate Outbacks. I had to jump start my stupid car again because apparently the other day someone hit this light and turned the light on. All I had to do was do that, you know. The trouble is, if you actually bump the light and it's on, the stupid vehicle doesn't notify you. Like if I shut it off, if I'm done driving it for the day, it doesn't notify you, oh hey, there's a light you need to turn off, or the vehicle doesn't know to just automatically turn the light off when I'm done driving for the for the day. So then my battery dies. Like, come on Outback, this is a 2020. Uh, you know, you think like all these events, like this car literally can almost fly. I mean, it has all these features on it you can do. It's amazing and everything's all computers now and all that has a freaking touch string. It's all fancy, but it doesn't know how to turn off a light automatically. Like if, if the driver forgets to turn off a light or uh, doesn't even realize that the light was on like that's hard to notice especially during the day you know if this actually gets bumped or something like come on outback so tired of having to jump start this thing like every day because there's either this light is on or maybe this light is on like that you know it has to be everything has to be off i literally have to check every single one of these lights make sure they're off you know, otherwise I'm having to jump start this the next day. It's it's idiotic, Outback. Come on, do better. Come on, Subaru, do better. You know, I'm tired. I didn't get good sleep last night. I'm I'm groggy, you know. I'm I'm not in a good mood. You know, I, I don't need to be dealing with this BS from Subaru right now. Alright, earlier as I was going off and venting about my vehicle. I said twenty thousand miles, I meant to say two thousand miles. It barely has two thousand miles on it. 2016 miles to be exact all right so i jump started my subaru that's becoming like a everyday thing now almost so uh so you guys had to listen through that rant um i woke up in a very bad mood didn't get a lot of sleep last night like for reals i'm not even doing a skit here i got horrible sleep i've been trying some medication here and it's just making me all groggy and stuff and i don't like this is not my best so i'm kind of a mess right now guys but you know what? I, I should have reason to be happy, actually, because um, we actually just reached 50,000 subscribers on our new channel that I started like two months ago, OSM Family, guys. That's why I've been posting all our shorts. So most of you guys have heard it. If, if you haven't, you should check it out. Um, that's why I put all the shorts. I'll have a link. Um, yeah, what? 50,000 subscribers. Like, it's just insane. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for subscribing over there. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. So that's, um, that's reason to be happy right there, guys. So that when I went on there and saw that this morning, it actually made me in a better mood <laughs> to say the least. So thank you guys. Hi guys. So it's, uh, another weekend, a little chilly out here and, uh, we'll just kind of just 
chilling, doing all the things today here at the house as we're getting ready for Super Bowl 57. Um, right now, Carol is taking a nap on the bed. Leland's playing video games. And uh, Leanna is nowhere to be seen. And earlier, Marvel was trying to get inside the house. So I had to let him in. Besides that, it's, I'm just walking around and uh, just enjoying some free time. Free time's great. Don't you guys enjoy free time? You know, you don't have to worry about anything. You can just chill, relax for a little bit. So the other day was kind of interesting. Leland came up to me and uh, he has expressed interest in playing football. I guess him and some of his buddies um, who are like in the same grade, you know, they're just finishing up middle school. They've all had this interest in trying out for the high school football team next year when they enter high school, when they go into the ninth grade. So lately, Leland and I, we've been uh, just practicing, throwing the football around to each other, and Leland's just been really into it. He's really been cheering on the Miami Dolphins, who unfortunately are not in the Super Bowl this year. But Leland's just been more into football lately. So I'm pretty excited, you know, um, watching him, seeing Leland have an interest in something, you know, uh, sports related. And um, he's, uh, yeah, he wants to try out for the football team, for the high school football team. So maybe if he, like, if he's good enough and, uh, you know, can pass all the requirements, whatever, um, if he makes the high school football team next year, that would be very exciting, you know, going back to these high school football games. All right, hey, guys. So um, you guys may have known that I want to play uh, high school football and I've been trying out for the football team so I've been going to like after school weights at the high school for football every day and I really want to play football because it's just like fun and stuff I want to be a wide receiver you want to yes! what what is he yelling uh yeah that sounds good let's go ah Leon's like yelling out of you can hear him Oh, what is he yelling? Let's go! So annoying. Shut up! We can all hear you! <laughs> Stop yelling! Let me strip up your butthole. Look at him. He scored. What? I'm playing the hit game Rocket League and in my. Watch your potty years. mouth. No, his name is literally Mr. Poopy Butthole. Are you kidding me? Ah. Hi, right, guys. So, yeah, today's a Saturday and uh, we're just kind of just taking it easy today. In fact, uh, Leland and I were just going to be throwing the old pig skin around. Um, you know, as we're getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday, um, Leland's really been interested in playing football. So um, I want to just practice with him, you know, father and son, you know, we're just going to practice. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's a foot of snow outside, so we can't go outside. So we're just going to have to do it here in the house. We're just going to have to practice, you know, phone the football here inside the house. And I think this will be big enough. I mean, we got like 12 foot ceilings. I mean, the ceiling goes way up there. So uh, I think um, there should be plenty of space to, you know, fold the football around in, inside the house. I, I think it'll be okay. All right, so this is what it looks like outside. I mean, there's a little bit where a little bit of grass, but I mean, I, we need more distance than this. Like I want to be able to fall out there, but there's just too much snow still. It's just too much snow on the ground. And uh, we just, uh, I, I don't want to step in the snow as I'm trying to practice. What are y'all doing? We're practicing. Stop throwing the football. We're gonna prepare Leland. Prepare him? Okay, yeah. hey, no, y'all have to stop throwing the football in the house right now. Why? Right now, because you're gonna break something. Ow. Oh my gosh! What did you do? I just, hold on, I lost my balance. Oh, don't. Gosh, I came in here to get away from y'all, and then y'all just come in here with the football. All right, well, we'll do it somewhere else. My God. All right, come downstairs for a sec. I got, ow! Oh, okay. I can't catch the ball and hold the camera at the same time. All right, so I wanna show you downstairs. So if you want to join the football team, we got to really like, 
it uh, adds some meat to your bones, you know, like we have got to beef you up. You got to work out. I do. You got to work out. We got to add some muscle. So we are working. I put together a little gym down here. Yeah. Here it is. So over here, we got the weights. Not the best lighting. Can you pick that up, Leland? Yeah, I mean, I think it's only... You're going to have to, like... Oh. Oh, my gosh. You picked up the whole thing? Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. How much is that? It's like 50 pounds? 52 pounds? Wow. All right, so... 52 pounds. All right, so this is the heaviest setting. 52 pounds. Curl it. Oh! Dang. Oh. Oh. I can barely do it though. Oh, that's hard. I cannot. Oh, that. that's 52 pounds. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a little out of breath now after doing that, but here are the settings. So that was 52 pounds. So you can, you know, change it to however many weights you want. So let, let's do 10 pounds. You gotta do it on both sides. So just have it on 10 pounds. And then when you lift it up, see it only has some of the weights on there now because it left the, la uh, the rest of the weights, it like unlocked the rest of the weights. So it's just sitting there. So this is actually pretty cool. And then you can just set it back on there. Um, yeah, so if we change it to 20, oh, let's, let's do 30. So we're gonna do 30 on both sides. I'm a little out of breath still. Okay. And then when you lift it up, so it has a little more weights to it, but you know, still left some of the, unlocked some of the weights. So yeah, that's really cool. So you can, we got two dumbbells here that you can just adjust the weights to whatever. Let's do 50 pounds and then lift it up. Oh, that's getting heavier. All right, we're going to see how much Leland can curl. curl here. How much can Leland lift? Well, how much, how much weight is that? 20. 20, okay. All right, so this is how Leland's gonna work out, guys. If Leland wants to be on the football team, if he wants to be on the high school football team, you know, in September, the next school year, then he needs to work out. All right, go ahead. Oh, first try, you got it in there. So there's another way for Leland to practice. We you have know, this. I'm not gonna be a quarterback. Leland's not a quarterback, but, you know, we're going to work on that arm. All right, let's try it again. Okay. So we got this gymnastic thing. That, that has nothing to do with football. But we have this punching bag. You can, like, pretend to tackle that. Yeah, There's a lot of tackling in I'm football, so tackle. there you go. That's well, I'll do it. No, Dad, look. The base. Oh. <laughs> Like that, just one into it. Just... There's a lot of tackling, Leland. A lot of tackling in football. All right, so, oh, so that's our little gym that we have down here. So Leland and I, we come down here sometimes to work out. And uh, Leland also works out after school. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I go to um, after school weights for football. It's basically weights for like the football cold the football coach is there oh okay and we work out oh, what are you guys doing practicing. okay practicing not in the house well, you don't need to be playing so it's winter. well we, deal with we the cold to, okay i, I want to, no footballs this, in the house okay, i don't want to do this in the snow okay well oh my god see you can't even catch it I don't want to do this in the house. I'm sorry, we don't have a choice. Yes, we do. It's winter, okay? Just don't do it. Now. My gosh, stop doing this. Right now. All right, so I'm practicing with Leland today, and uh, we're just going to... Ow! What are you doing? Don't throw it at me. But you're supposed to catch it. Well, I'm trying to vlog, too. Ow! Okay, stop. Well, just give me a minute. Hold on, I'm just trying to... Okay, stop. All right, 
I. All right, go long, go long. Why are y'all doing Mary. this? Hail Mary, here we go. Let's go, let's go. We got high ceilings. Stop this. Woo, let's go. No, I don't want to oh. do this. All right, lead in the fourth quarter. Oh Lee my gosh. Going for the touchdown. You're not Tom here Brady. Lead in for the touchdown. Oh my God. Oh. Completely destroyed the TV just now. Like the ball, I cut like I I had it in my hands. I had it in my hands, but it slipped and it bounced and hit the TV. I should not. Okay, guys, I should not have stood in front of the TV. Uh, it was off camera. Okay, well, it was kind of slow filming. But what happened was, as Leland threw the football, I caught it in my hands, but it slipped and it just went like kind of through my hands and hit the TV. Head on. I mean, you can see where it hit. <sighs> Dang it! Oh. Well, where else are we supposed to practice? It's too cold outside. There's too much snow outside. So, you know, I'm trying to practice with Leland in the house. Can't do it in the basement because it's only eight feet ceiling, so it's not tall enough. So, you know, we got these 12 foot ceilings here. So, you know, you think this would have been perfect, but there's just too much stuff in here. It's just too much snow out there. Yeah. Oh, okay, are you mad at me? Am I mad at you? Of course I'm mad at you. Yeah, yeah we're all mad at you. You broke our TV right before the Super Bowl. Uh, so, what are we going to do now, Leland? We can't watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, we have to steal a remote. We still, well, we have the remote, but the TV doesn't work. The TV's all messed up now, and uh, oh, we turned it off and turned it back on, and it's still, yeah, it's, it's damaged. Like, the TV is legitimately damaged. I mean, you can see that. All right, so no more practicing in the house. That's not going to work anymore. Dad, we, we're going to have to... Ow! Dang it! Okay, stop! Stop that! So London got invited to a birthday party, so yeah. we're trying to get ready for that. Yeah. So it's this is... Uh, it's a present that London's gonna give her friend. Oh, that TV, man. That just, that makes me so mad. Like, I cannot believe that happened. I cannot believe that happened. Like, I don't know. But, stupid work, I, like, kind of lost my bounce on this. This thing just slides around. It's on hardwood floor, so it's a little slick. Alright, so I'm... How do you ground me? I'm not a kid. You can't send your husband to his room. Like, well, yes, I can. I'm not a kid. I can't when he breaks the TV. Okay, I didn't mean to. It was an act. Oh, it was a legit accident. Okay. That's was that my did. fault? Was that Leland's fault? I don't even yes. know whose fault that was. Yes, I guess it's kind of my fault because I stood in front of the TV. Yes. But Leland's the one who threw the ball. I don't know, guys. Tell me. Tell me down in the comments. Was it my fault for standing in front of the TV, or was it Leland's fault for throwing the football? Uh, tell me down in the comments. Are you okay, London? Oh no, we can't watch. We're not talking about Bruno. We can't watch TV now. We can't watch 
you know, Disney Plus or whatever. We can't watch any of the Disney shows or Netflix or can't watch That's, anything. Can't we can't even it. watch our Oh She Talking Mushrooms now. Yeah! Oh no, what are we gonna do, Marvel? What are we gonna do? All right, well, since the main TV is all busted, I think I'll watch the Super Bowl here in the office. Oh, come on! Seriously? Yeah. Come on! I want to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, but you were playing Minecraft. Now it's my turn. But the Super Bowl. But I'm playing GTA. But you busted the main TV. You did that. You did it. You did it. Well, we, we got to... Okay, this is the only other TV. Except for the bedroom, but London's watching stuff in that one, so... Watch it on your phone. That's not the same. I wanted to... I don't care. Watch it on 50 inch well, or 60 inch. I can't inch play on. Xbox on my phone because it's too laggy. Ah, uh, I wish Leland would just get off GTA so I can watch the Super Bowl. Come on, Leland. Hi. I want to watch the game. Hi. It's like the only TV we the have game. now. Watch this. Uh, watch this. What are you doing now? Why? Why would you do look. that? Now I have Scooby Gear on. Oh. Alright, well get off so I can watch the Super Bowl. No. It's your fault the TV broke. No, I'm gonna steal a cop's boat. What? No, get off. What what are you doing? Ah! What are you doing now? I'm trying to steal the boat. Whose boat is that? Cops. Oh They just blasted you. They weren't gonna let you take the boat. Alright, so since I'm back home now, it's my turn to give the shout outs to the captains. So a special shout out goes to uh, Syed Ahmed, um, Adam Clark, Finnish, Adam, what's the girl? Jordan X97, Evelyn Kano, Heavy Rescue 126, uh, S. Kent, Cowabunga Simpson, John Markin, Eli Cooper, and Aiden Jack. So thank you guys for being captains of uh, the Yoshitake Mushroom Army. If you guys want a shout out, just join our membership program. Hi, thanks for watching. Remember our videos are skits. We didn't really break the TV. But we really were throwing the ball in the house, which we probably shouldn't have done that. So don't do that, guys. Do that outside. You don't want to break any expensive furniture. Parents will get annoyed. So subscribe if you're new to our channel and um, check out our other channel, OSM Family. And um, that's it. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.